All right, here we go. Chevy Cruze 1.4 engine. Timing cover right there. It's about to come out. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And I'm gonna replace it with a brand new one right here. Let's go. All right, here we go. Chevy Cruze 1.4 engine. We'll come back, finally. So, old timing cover right there. And here's a new one, finally show up. Took me about a month to get this in. Original GM. Uh, comes with a water pump, of course. I'm surprised. Comes with the brand new water pump. Thermostat with the thermostat housing. Uh, front crank seal. And uh, we need the uh, bolts and gasket. So, right there. This is uh, the old one, you can tell. We're going to have to take those old one out. And then we'll replace it with a brand new one right there. Uh, what I did uh, earlier, I took the alternator off. There's bolts down here and one up there. There's just two bolts. And then uh, this AC pump is what I'm working on right now. So let's start working on that. All right, so taking out this AC pump, it's kind of shitty because uh, the bracket to AC pump is bolted to the timing cover. I'll show you what I mean. So uh, right here, this hole right there, bolts go in there for the AC bracket bolted to the timing cover. So here's the bracket, AC bracket, here's the AC pump. This is the bolt I'm talking about right there. So we're gonna have to take out the AC pump first, bracket, and then after bracket, we'll take out the timing cover. For this AC pump, there's a bolt up here and bolt underneath. And then there's a bolt at the back of this AC pump. I'll show you a diagram here. All right, so the third bolt, the tool, easy access is from up here behind the rad fan right there. Here's my ratchet, 13 mil socket for that bolt to come out. Same thing on the front right there, uh, 13 mil. All right, I'm gonna show you guys down here that AC bolt I'm talking about. Down here, there you go. All right, so you see the socket right there? That's where the bolts right there that is gonna come out. It's easy to work on the top rather than down here. So I'm gonna take out that last bolt. That's the third bolt, that's the last one. And then this AC right here will come out. And then I'll show you the three bolts to take out the bracket. And then see that little torque right there? There's a plug. That's the access uh, port to uh, lock your crank with the special tools. I'll show you that in a minute after we take out this AC. All right, see that AC drop? Finally, it's loose. All right, there you go. AC just hanging on the corner right there. Now, this is the bracket. There's three bolts, two on the top, on the front right here, and then there's one at the back right there. All right, so 13 on this one. One right there. Second one right here. And then the last one way back over there. Right there. All right, guys, so there's three bolts are loose. This is the last one right here. And then show you how this bracket look like. It's gonna look like this. There you go. All right, here we go. There's nothing to see around here. Just the AC pump and then the side of the block and there's a timing cover right there. So by the look of this, uh, there's nothing attached to the timing cover anymore. It's all free up here. Same thing with this side and the back is all free up. The bottom of the timing cover, there's probably like six bolts bolted to the oil pan. That's the only thing that attach to the timing cover. Everything up here is all loose. I'm gonna show you guys a little chart on the side here. How much bolts this timing cover hold into the block. And it's probably like 15 or 20. My God, there's a lot. So uh, we're gonna show you how I do that. But first we're gonna have to drain the coolant and then uh, take out the bolts underneath on the front right here to the oil pan. Let's go. All right, so here's the drain right here. I use 11 
middle socket to take out this uh, drain plug right here. So make sure that's loose and get your catch little bucket container to catch the coolant here. All right, here we go. Let's drain it out. Put a rag down there. All right, so when it's done draining, just put the plug back on there. Make sure to catch those coolant, okay, that coming out of the block. All right, we're gonna start taking out the bolt down here behind the crank. So you can see what a mess is down here with all this oil and dirt, mud and gunk. Show you where the bolts from the oil pan to the timing cover. It's one right there, it's one on the front, three and then four on the back. So there's four down here and then the rest will be bolted everything to the block from the timing cover, okay? So we're gonna take those out. Uh, so this is what I use, uh, eight mil uh, gear wrench right here because it's so easy and uh, it doesn't hit on the block or the oil pan when I use a uh, ratchet style. This will work but it's on the angle so the bulky ratchet head is hitting this uh, oil pan so this is the best. All right, guys, so you can see right there, no more bolts. One right there, and then another one right there. Those are the bolts down here for the timing cover. Uh, there's like a couple different size length on that bolts. This is basically all the four, all the same. There's a longer one right there. The longer one is, it goes to that hole right there. And of course this little tiny one is uh, four from the oil pan to the bottom of the timing cover. Those are the only three different size of bolt link that you have to remember. The really long one right there, make sure that those goes to that hole right there. And up to the top right here, we're gonna be start working on this side, all the way here. Same thing on the back, all the way up there. Bolts to the front, there's one right here. Let's crack that loose. Second one right there. And then the third one right here. One down here, it's loose already earlier. Second one right here, third, fourth, and the fifth, the last one. That's it. All right guys, so you can see all the bolts are off on this side here. Same thing on the back. They're all right there. All right, so taking out this uh, front timing cover, you just need the pry bar, okay? Quickly show you guys where to pry. There's a little spot. On the front, this is the front cover. This is the back. Show you a pinpoint area to pry this uh, timing cover. The one right here, second one right there, and then the third one right there. That's where you put your pry bar and then you just pry it open on the front and then to the back. It's I believe one or two spot. Yeah, there's one right there. Okay, and then second one right there. All right, so before I forget, there's a couple bolts down here that you need to take out. Those two right there, they are this different size. I believe those are 12 mil. Yeah, 12 mil on those two. You know, just to make sure, I use 11 socket on this two bolts right there. All right, there you go. So two bolts out right there, 11 mil. Put those on the side. 
everything right there for your timing cover bolt that's crazy those are huge all right so let's uh take out this uh, timing cover now all right so uh, let's quickly pry it from this side here get that thing loose okay all right here we go so you can see that main cover is out just make sure and spec our timing chain the tension of it looks like everything is tight nothing crack here or here or up here that guide is not crack or anything tensioner right there looks like everything's looking good on that side so quickly show you guys why I'm doing this job here first of all oil leak is the main issue I'm gonna have to change this front cover, timing cover right there because of a couple things. First, there's a crack right there on the old one. Whoever did this before, they uh, drilled a bigger hole right there so that you can install a bigger bolt. Because on that old timing cover, it was a small hole right there. They put a brand new bigger bolt, so that's missing piece right there is gone so that's why it's not tight oil leaks coming out on this area what caused this uh, couple mess right there that's what that's the couple problem why i'm changing this timing cover see how the new one is right there it's supposed to be like that they put a bigger bolt they drilled bigger hole that cracked this piece right there and then it made a big mess right after that that's why I'm changing this old one to a new one and uh, that part right here is supposed to be nice and clean no cracks that one is crack those are the two main thing why I'm doing this job because of that and I uh, just realized that we're gonna have to take out this chain out because replacing this uh, timing cover you're gonna need to put brand new gasket and the gasket here is behind the chain so that's gonna be fun uh, while we are gonna do this we're gonna have to uh, double check make sure right after I take out this chain we're gonna have to double check make sure the chain link the distance the the length of this chain is uh, good Comp we're gonna compare the old length to our brand new chain link okay we're gonna compare those two make sure the old one is good make sure it's not stretch or anything um the chain i believe just to buy is like 40 bucks or 50 bucks so we're gonna double check the old chain to a brand new chain uh make sure this old chain is good and i'm not sure the tensioner if that's maxed out stretch out to the max okay I'm not sure if that's maxed out, but uh, we'll take a look. Who knows, we might put a brand new uh, tensioner because we're here now anyways. It's all pieces. Mine just uh, threw in a couple parts in before we uh, close everything down and then get this thing running. All right, so those are the couple things that we're going to do here in the next video. Uh, this video is getting long, so... That's it guys, stay tuned for the next one. This is a good progress. Can't wait to get this thing done and then uh, give this to the owner of this vehicle. But for now, like the video, give me a thumbs up. We're gonna keep going, show you guys how this thing work and how I replace this old part to a new part. That's it, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.